Hey, all right. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can record in 3D in mixed reality or your world around you using the Quest 3. You know that a month ago I posted my very first 3D video that I was recorded like the real world around me and went around my place. Very short video, just an example. Uh, a month ago and then today i saw hugh ho posting saying the very first 3d quest 3 video no it's not the first my mine is the first what happened that's weird anyways <laughs> i'm using a gopro and uh it just got weird on me um Anyways, Hugh Ho uh, did not post the first one. He's a wizard. He's a 3D wizard. He, uh, he's a, you should watch his tutorials if you want to do 3D editing or watch some 3D videos. I've learned, I've learned uh, a really cool method of making VR 180 videos using GoPros, which I haven't posted, uh, I don't think, anything about yet. But anyways, sorry, Hugh. You're a great creator, uh, but I'm the one who has the very first Quest 3 mixed reality videos up on YouTube. I'm a little baby YouTuber. He's got over 127,000 subs. I got barely over seven though. I'm thankful for all of you. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, I created these bad files. Um, they are right here. Just download them. Links in the video description. Make sure that your, make sure that your quest is in uh, developer mode. If you don't know how to do that, here's a 60 second video showing you how to do it. And then here you go. Just, I, I made four different bad files. Um, well, two of them are for 3D and two of them are just for 4K, like if you just want to record 4K. And uh, there's game cropping and no game cropping. Game cropping uh, crops it just, let, makes the game render only to the areas that's going to be recorded. And it actually makes the game look sharper. So you don't have to use that, but uh, it will make your game footage look better. Cropping, here, cropping will allow you to have a better quality um, recording of your game. It doesn't seem to change the quality of the mixed reality around it, but the game re rendering seems to be sharper. But you don't need to use it. Uh, the no game cropping actually removes any game cropping if you've had if you had it enabled. So um, just hook up your Quest like this. Take your Quest 3 in developer mode, hook it up to your computer like this. And then pick one you want. Let's we want 3D 4K 3D. We're gonna. I do game cropping. This is the one I do. When I do my videos, this is the one that I do. Oh, actually, and make sure when you run it, your screen is actually on. So I have Angry Birds running right now. So turn the screen on, and then run it. Because what it does is it it turns the screen off and back on again, and that's required. So um, if you don't do that, it it might not work. I think your screen the screen has to be on. So that's it. And then, uh, oh, what, so what each of these does is it actually sets the, the frame rate to 72, uh, capture I2, which is, these are just ADB commands. That's for both. Um, 3840 by 2160. Uh, this one removes the cropping. So this one, get, that's getting rid of the cropping. And it sets the bit rate right here to 45 megabits. Uh, and that's what I record at. You can go in and edit these and change them to something else that you want. And I do have an internal app that I'm going to release that allows you to, to make these changes, but I don't have it yet. And Hugh Ho was like, I'm going to release a tutorial tomorrow. So I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm going to release one today. How's about that? I posted a comment on his video. Let's see. All right. I posted a comment on his video here that says, shot on MetaQuest 3 Mixed Reality 3D Video Pastor. Oh, better than you think. Oh, okay. So he did remove the comment. <laughs> it was originally titled the very first, the very first uh, 3D... <laughs> 3D MetaQuest. He's a great creator. Seriously, this guy is huge, and he's he knows his stuff, and um, so I'm just giving him some crap, but uh, he's he knows what he's talking about. Um, he is actually the first one to post one with metadata that works in the Chrome browser. For some reason, it doesn't work uh, in mine. The ones that I have posted now, the, the metadata stopped working in the browser, but it still works in YouTube VR and on mobile. So I'm gonna. Work, I'm going to work with trying to figure that out, but, but that's how you record in 3D. Um, my metadata injectors still work for YouTube VR and the mobile devices like your phone. So, all right.
if you have any questions, let me know. And watch out for my app that I'm going to release hopefully soon. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.